I have an interesting story for you. Back in 1956, there was this guy named William Shockley. And Shockley wanted to create a semiconductor company to take advantage of this growing electronics industry that was starting to take off at the time. He went to Stanford University and he managed to recruit the best and the brightest. And when I'm talking about the best and the brightest, we're talking about like the equivalent of like the Beatles for engineers at the time. This was an incredible crew that he managed to recruit. In looking in hindsight, this company should have gone through the roof, but it didn't. You haven't heard of Shockley Semiconductor, have you? And it's because William Shockley, a bit of a jerk. They decided we don't need him anymore. And they went out, secured funding on their own and founded this place back here, which was Fairchild. Fairchild ended up being like the best and the brightest at the time. And a couple of those people turned around and uh, founded Intel. Between those two companies, you had the backbone of the electronics industry. Lesson learned here, treat your people well.